Hi, so I want to make a quick video to talk about how to get React Native set up on one of the new M1 Apple Silicon based Macs. So I was going through the documentation the other night trying to do this myself for a Mac that I just purchased and I wanted to kind of quickly go over uh, what you need to do to actually get this installed and running on, uh, on an M1 Mac. So I came over here to the documentation. If you go to reactnative.dev, uh, go to the uh, environment setup. Uh, they have an example of how to get this set up here with the React Native uh, CLI. And so there's a couple things you're going to need to do. One of the things you're going to need to do is you're going to need to install uh, Node.js. And so I recommend just going to the Node.js website, downloading the LTS version of Node. Uh, the latest version of LTS Node is a um, universal binary, so I'll run on either x86 or ARM-based, uh, Apple Silicon-based uh, chips. Once you've done that, uh, they recommend that you install Watchman. Uh, if you're going to install Watchman, you need to have Homebrew installed. So if you want to install Homebrew, uh, you can go to this website right here called brew.sh. And they have a little command you can make right here uh, in your terminal. You just take this and solve this into, or run this in your terminal. It'll install Homebrew. It's basically it's like a package manager for, for the Mac, like apt-get if you're using Linux. Once you've done that, then you can install uh, Watchmen. And you just do that by doing brew install Watchmen. And after you've done that, the next thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you have CocoaPods installed. So I'm doing this assuming that you already have Xcode installed. If you already have Xcode installed, uh, one of the things you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make sure that the command line tools are set up. So if you come to, let me go here. I'm going to just go ahead and open up my Xcode. So if we come here into Xcode and Xcode is installed, if you come over here under Preferences for Xcode, you can see that there's this Locations tab, and under Locations tab, you can see there's the command line tools. This needs to be selected to something. Sometimes after you've done a fresh install of Xcode, there's nothing here. You need to make sure that uh, you have the command line tools installed. Once that's done, then you can go ahead and you can get uh, CocoaPods installed. In their documentation, they recommend using uh, sudo gem. Do not use this command. If you want to install, if you want to install uh, CocoaPods, uh, do it with Homebrew. So just do brew install CocoaPods, and that will install CocoaPods. And then once you've done that, you should have everything you need to go ahead and get an application startup. So. What I'm going to do is just to demonstrate that this is working on my machine is I'm going to come over here to my terminal and I'm just going to put in this command uh, npx react-native init awesome project. Run that. And this is going ahead and it's setting up a template. It is, once it sets up the, the template, it's going to go through and it's going to install all the different dependencies that are needed for, for the project. And um, this is going to include uh, essentially the, the CocoaPod stuff as well. So right now it's installing the dependencies. And this may take a minute because uh, it has to add all these things into your Xcode project. So we'll just go ahead and let this uh, continue running. And you can see right here they have this little message here that says uh, this may take a few minutes. All right, and that should be everything we need. So let's just go ahead and verify that that's working. So I'm just gonna come over here and I'm going to CD into Awesome Project. And I'm gonna open that up inside of Visual Studio Code. And so you can see that we have uh, the project is already set up in here. And if I wanna run this, uh, and we'll make sure that it's running properly here inside of my uh, uh, inside of my Mac, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in here npx react native run iOS. Okay, so I got that little message here, but it asks, actually was doing is it's actually going here, it's getting started up here. And it's saying it's building the app.
And we can see here now it's uh, it's going ahead and it's run the uh, the sample awesome project. And just to prove that there's uh, no smoke and mirrors here, I'm just going to go ahead and take this over here, and we'll make a little change here. We'll call this my edit. And you can see that it refreshed there after I made that change. So that's all you have to do to get uh, React Native running on uh, uh, running on the new Macs. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can give it a thumbs down, but please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. I can do more videos like this. Have a good day.